My name is Raps and welcome back to Against the Storm. Last we left off, we had the best setup for a trade empire that we have had so far. We have our provisioner, not the provisioner, that's the warehouse. Here's the provisioner, set up with the ability to create out of herbs, which we are farming out of a small farm, packs of provisions in order to send all of our resources all about the world through these trade routes, earning 12 and 15 from our currently two active trade routes. It's looking good. It's looking good. There's one trade route completed. I will take my 12. And do we want to sell some meat? Or insects? Um, I'm not really creating meat. So yeah, let's sell that meat. Why not? I'll only sell one lot of it, but it'll still be enough to increase my uh, progress with the Smoldering City. We can see that it says their progress one out of two transactions. So selling one more thing to them will give me a second transaction with them. Giving me one level of standing with them. Okay, the herb garden here needs to start creating herbs. Got some decent amber as well. Next time a trader turns up, we can actually start buying some perks from them. Or, possibly, blueprints even. Oh, there's all that coal freed up for us. Pop a big juicy mine down there in order to start working on those. It had to be placed on top of those deposits of coal, so... Easily sorted. There's a smoldering city completing its first level for us, and we do not have anything else that we can sell. Stonecutters camp! Uh, do I want to put people on this task just for the sake of being on this task? Because that's what I'm about to do. Ooh, just gonna... I'm just going to take that forager's camp and connect it into this established system that I'm starting to work with. Send two people over there. Getting a bunch of vegetables is going to be a really, really, really good way to try and feed some people right now. Because otherwise that's a wee bit of a toughie for us. <sighs> okay, ten provisions as well as rebuilding a ruin. We already have the ability to do this. We have a artisan that we have the ability to rebuild and we have enough provisions. So we could complete this instantly. Do I want it? 20 pottery every time I discover it. No, the box of simple tools is very, very, very persuasive to me. Welcome new villagers from camps found in glades. In order to get plus one to production yields for all packs of goods, I do like that. 15 aesthetic decorations gives us large berry baskets. I'm gonna take the Lost in the Woods one. I want to rebuild or salvage one of these right now in order to finish this. I mean, I could just get the artisan. Rebuilding that gives us the access to pigment. It doesn't cost us that much to do either. And it'll complete the ruins mission immediately. All the fire loof. Buildings construct 25, sorry, 50% faster. Villages move 10% faster on roads or faster copper production. Yeah, I'm absolutely getting the enhanced blueprints and we are going to be doing that through a trading system wherein I give unto thee a... That's too many. That's too many. I wouldn't be able to... Ooh, I've only got three parts left. Yikes. Uh, barrels. I need those as well. I'll give you a couple planky but No. Boy, I really don't know what I can afford to give you that I want to give you. You may have some barrels, but understand I will be mad about it. How many may I take back? Three barrels. Four? Four barrels. I will make that trade, and in doing so, I will buy the enhanced blueprints. Buildings are now built 50% faster. Incredible. 
should be great because a lot of the time I find myself in little cycles where I just explode with a bunch of production on the field. Obviously right now I have... Actually I'm just gonna let you all free. I have no builders, so I needed to free a couple up from a job. There we go. I'm gonna also, one, two, three, four, there we go. Set this up to actually connect these two buildings or these two, these two settlements. So those trees that I initially pointed to have been cut down now, giving me the ability to make this hearth. But I do want people to have the ability to actually walk around the hearth as the thing as well. Sure. It's going to take a little bit more to set that up. I'm going to tell this to avoid opening glades as well. I don't want to break into this forbidden glade just yet. We do have the ability to trade in this mission, giving us 12 simple tools. As well as a reputation for a tavern, guildhouse, or clan hall. Uh, monastery is the one that's on the board. Uh, only the beavers benefit from luxury, brawling, only the lizards. We've got to take the tavern there. Okay, are we stacking up too heavily on any resources again? I mean, we have a lot of simple tools at the moment. We really should be finishing some of these chests. Get some bricks and some coal and some stone. I mean, we could get some Queen's Grace and the, the Amber, but I think I'm going to be able to get those anyway through the course of the rest of my missions. Oh, what's going on in our lumber mill? You think you're done? You think you made enough? Well then it's time to make some trade goods, bud. Out of those trade goods, I will need a total of 20. So hop to it, and I believe you have exactly enough to actually make that. Well, I say exactly. Give or take seven barrels. Checking over another tab. It's not like we're too high on spark tier or anything like that at the moment. We'll weather the storm reasonably well here. Trade route is complete. Beauty. Coal parts. I mean, yeah, like I could sell five parts right now and get 15 amber back and that'd be sick. And I really, really want to. Oh, I don't have the provisions to do that. I could only sell one anyway. Fine. We'll do that. Uh, which then shouts out loud that I need new provisions, so I need to get another person in that camp. That's fine, we don't have anyone to go in it just yet. Yeah, I really need new villagers from a welcoming event or something like that. They bring with them provisions as well. As a result of peasant supplies, bring a three-pack of provisions for every new villager. More villagers are turning up. Deserted caravans! Global production faster, but trading's not available. Obviously not. Relatives of your family members, sorry, of your uh, villagers send gifts for keeping their family members well. We'll get 40 water skins for every full reputation point we earn through high resolve. That's not going to happen super commonly, but we'll give it a go. Uh, sure. I'm going to take the amount of lizards here because I feel like I am a little short on lizards a lot of the time when I need lizards. Okay. We also have the artisan now. Not that I think I need to use this just yet. 
in this abandoned cache up here. We can open with our current goods. This will give us 25 coats as well as two ancient tablets. That's pretty good. Sometimes we are asked for those. And work is assigned to Glade events, carry five more items. Sure, that's kind of important as we intend to continue expanding. Trade routes completed for those three, giving us the second level of relationship with the uh, Fital. Now we are friendly with them. I'm not... Well, I mean, it improves the offers they give you, right? That's what it does. I just can't tangibly see that right now. In fact, you know what? I have a better relationship with Fatal. I'm going to expand their offerings. Do I do it twice? I'm kind of tempted to do it twice. Because if I can fulfill their offers more consistently right now... I have no active roots at the moment. What's my best fabric production? Do I know? Do I have it on board? Fabric as a... Yeah, it's, it's just in the crude workshop. I have some tools for creating it, but they're non-renewable for me, I believe. And when I say non-renewable, I have the ability to get more here. It's just they're non-renewable out of what I am currently doing, I guess. Look at this pack of trade goods. Let's take one more yawl out of a woodcutter's camp for the lumber mill. As we need a little bit of help with those trade goods. Pack of crops. I don't think I heard anything making packs of crops at the moment. Clothier makes coats. A brickyard, the lumber mill already down, a mine already down. Yep. We would have to make the crops into a makeshift post. No problem, I'll set that up. Hopefully clearing out more of this area so that I can get the heart down soon will pay off faster. We can put a harvester's camp there to try and remove these reeds, give us some more space. Trade connections are ready, giving us the two amber for every six pack of trade goods that we produce. So that's going to make this a lot easier to continue investing in. Rain mill, brewery, and cellar. So, out of these, it's got to be the brewery. Has the ability to make pack of crops, which is nice, but it has the ability to make ale. We already have a tavern. So it's 100% brewery, through and through. And then I guess alongside that, we'd create a tavern. Hmm. I'm gonna need more fabric for that. Staff the crude workstation, let it only produce fabric, let that go. I still haven't put a single warm body in this mine the entire time. That's supposed to be creating all of our coal. Give me more warm bodies! What are all our people doing? Crude workstations, rain collector. You know what? I can take one out of the rain collector. I don't need that there. Necessarily, I think. Uh, put you in mine. Medium abandoned cache. That'll finish itself in time. That's okay. Everything else. Let's resolve it. My trade routes as well. See if there's... Anything better in here for us? I mean, yeah, the Smoldering City would give us 25 for 10 trade goods. Wait, that's F Fatal will do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Sell them to Fatal. Uh, 
yeah, alternate back to making planks at the moment, if you will, bud. So I think we actually will be using a couple of them. Tabit especially. Next season rolls over. We find building materials, water skins, oil, eh. Meat? Yeah, sure. I'll sell you some meat, small dream city. Make sure post comes up. This was our ability to make a pack of crops, right? But now the pack of crops is actually coming up via a different building. Building materials. Okay, it's still our best way of making building materials, but the pack of pro uh, crops is going to come from the brewery now. We'll turn pickled goods off. I'll turn ale off for the moment, but I do intend to turn it back on for the future. And then for pack of crops, I only need to make 15 at the moment. So let's set a maximum globally of 15 there. Of trade goods, maximum globally of 20. 20 for the crystallized dew as well. 20 for ale. 20 for pigment. Uh, sure, 20 for barrels as well. 20 for coats. Neat. Everyone should have a very, very good idea of what they have to do and exactly what parameters in which they need to do it. Here comes the brewery. Let's try and free up a couple of people. So where would... And there's two people in the mine that I can free up there. So I can throw them into the brewery because they do like brewing things. They'll brew up some packs of crops for us. Next two missions pop up for us as well. Ooh! Have a tavern down and use it for, uh, or rate, rather, make 40 ale. This will also make our ale production better in the future. Or we could have keep goods as a reward for the glade event in order to get extra saw blades and heavy press for extra oil production and some tools. No, I'm going to be taking cups and glasses here. I think that's a great idea for us right now. Have 16 beavers for at least 30 seconds. Gives us the ability to make pies better as well as make beavers happier. Or discovering a glade gives a 3%, sorry, 3 boost to global resolve for 1.5 minutes. Plus 2 to grain production, 30 ale for the expensive delivery. This requires 10 more beavers. I'm going to take the expensive delivery, I think. Let's camp should move again. Uh, yeah, you should start helping to clear out this nonsense. Although also avoid opening any glades if you can. One trade route complete, skipping us back seven. Another send back out though. Jorg, welcome to our town. I have 14 amber. You have obsidian sickles for harvesting crops is 25% faster. I do like that. Uh, sure. I do like and I will take that. I should also probably... Well, I don't need to go to consumption and prevent the ale from being consumed until I have the tavern. Wait, I have the tavern down? Okay, I need to go prevent ale from being consumed by anyone. Nope, I can't prevent ale from being consumed by anyone just yet. I'm going to set tavern as a negative... Nope, that's not stopping it from being created. Uh-oh. Loads of money. I'm just, if I staff no one in here, surely they can't make the leisure with the, yeah, surely. This is resolve is low and there is high hostility at the moment, unfortunately. This is dropping below 
one soon, it looks like. I'm going to move the Woodcutter's Camp back up and see if I can make my small hearth now. And indeed I can. Let's also cut one more tree from there. Nothing else needs an immediate change. Plus three, the global resolve would prevent the current negative outcomes for the lizards, but I wonder if their resolve is going to drop so slowly that it's not a problem for us. And I also do want to make ale. A bunch of roots. Do not have a bunch of barrels, unfortunately, at the moment, so we'll destock you from there. The barrels were used to create a bunch of trade goods, and yeah, we're kind of out of trade goods as well. Y'all are idling because you don't want to make more planks? I don't think they should be idling right now. I'm going to say override the global limit and make up to 50. Because we've got big productions coming up over here. Obviously, the first one is that small half there, but then the second is putting down two big shelters in this area. Didn't even have to worry about the resolve problems there for the moment. A suit read production or villages with leisure need fulfilled have a plus 10% chance of doubling their yields. I'm going to be taking that because I already have a plan for fulfilling people's leisure. And I'll also take the non humans. Let's take these people out. I don't need to make that much more fiber. Get a couple more free builders. Nice. Two giant shelters up here. Small hearth is getting closer to being a encampment. So I should very quickly finish that up. Uh, which I am going to break through to there eventually. So I don't really want to gate that off. Let's work with this area instead. All right. Decorate a little bit outside of the herb garden there. And that should pop our next level of the small half. Wait, hang on. One of these is outside the range? Okay, hang on. I'm taking them all down then. Yeah, because I can do something like this instead. One, two, three, four. We're getting close on the advanced trading at the very top. And in fact, there pops our encampment. not coming up at all and that's because I'm not making the barrels for it. Let's start making some barrels. I do have some copper bars and I do have some crystallized dew. In fact I'll start working with the crystallized dew. Perfect. And then I guess I'm going to have to start telling some people to actually make the ale. I may use barrels as well. I'm 
few seasons past. What is going for trade offers? Meat, jerky, not good at making those, unfortunately. Stone, I have a lot of that, but I am going to need to use that. I haven't made many bricks yet. Although, 68 stone sells for... Oh, yeah, I'm going to sell that to the smoldering city for the 28 there, I think. All right, ale's coming up. Packs of crop, not so much. Yeah, looks like about one of them. I can just put the forager's camp there, move this woodcutter's camp away. I mean, this one honestly doesn't need to be here at all, except for the fact that I just want to clear more of this area to have more space to work with. Give this forager's camp the ability to walk back up there. Neat. And the harvest camp, really the problem here is I guess that no one is currently harvesting. Everyone needs so so little to be powerful right now. Like I have every part of the production chain that I need except for the very, very tippy top. Although I guess your know, ale is the tippy top of that production chain, it's just I can't serve it to anyone yet. Need to make enough first. Need to make sure that I have enough on backlog so that we won't disappoint anyone. Trade route completed. Gives us 28 in response. Love it. That also there completes our mission, giving us plus one to all packs of goods that we produce, and we produce them 30% faster. We also get 10 bricks there. The storm begins. Have at least 14 villages with jerky need fulfilled, pie need fulfilled, and skewer need fulfilled for 30 seconds. I can do that by buying a bunch of skewers and uh, pie and jerky all at the same time. Serving to the people. So this is asking me to have those all fulfilled at the same time. This is asking me to ha have those fulfilled cumulative. Global food production speed increased by 20% versus the additional amber for the trade goods. I like the trade good amber and I like stacking that effect, but I'm going to take serving the people here for the extra food production. And this is now just trade goods that I can easily create. Gives us 10 parts as a reward as well. I need to turn pack of crop production off because it's not important to us anymore. Y'all, y'all should be making. Why are you idling? You should be making ale. Oh, I have a production limit on ale at the moment to twenty. What the hell? Of course, I'm not going to be able to make forty ale with that. Yikes. Well, at least we moved past that. Okay, packs of building materials. These are still only best made here. I'm going to start making it with brick. I only need to make 15 of them total, right? Every five villages with the need for education fulfilled will increase global production by 25%. Or newly discovered resource nodes have 10 more charges. I'm going to take the work safety guide just in case I ever fulfill people's educational requirements here. And a more diverse set of candidates. 
With the trader arriving in Sahilda. Yeah, here we go. We can actually demonstrate the value we've been generating this entire time. Look upon my money and despair. I was 67. I can make coats, two additional coats at a time. I mean, I do have a Clothier. Clothier, there you are. But I'm not particularly good at making fabric, I don't think. That's our big bottleneck. Also not very good at making reed consistently. Villages move 10% faster, I will take. Plus one to flower production. Do I have flower production in this run yet? I do in the provisioner, and it was something we were planning around, but I currently haven't even got a farm that makes flower. Hmm. Well, that feels bad. I need that. Do I need flour eventually? Yeah, yeah I, I need to I need to feed these people. These people don't have any of that completed things that they want yet. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's make additional flour. And additional clothing, sure. And I'll even keep all of my excess money there. Let's have a look at our new trade routes. Hmm, crystallized dew. Yes, I could offload a lot of that. Let's get 16 for it. In six and a half minutes. Come on, ale. Do you want to just pop a delivery of that ale immediately? Thank you. Looks like that delivery is in progress. Pack of trade goods. Are you currently limited? Yeah, you are currently limited. I need you to be limited actually at 25 plus 15 is 40? Because I need 20... No, 45 total. It's unfortunate because it's pulling from the barrels as well as the ale is pulling from the barrels right now. Speaking of the ale pulling from the barrels... Let's get a bunch of that back, and now it is time to actually fill out the tavern. There we go. Time for everyone to have some leisure. Brawling in religion. Rain mill, that is fast of flower production. We already had decently fast flower production. Kiln is coal production, but I already have coal production via the mine in this area. Maybe I take the clan hall just so that we can have ancient ways. All camp production is 50% faster. I need eight brick for this. Great. Okay, your ale production's kind of going down the drains a little bit there. All good. Let's reassign you to stone cutting. I could probably upgrade both of these into neighborhoods quite quickly. Especially with the plank production that we already have access to. So yeah, let's let's do that. So that is accomplished by recognizing that we have seven unhoused at the moment. So if I put down a single shelter in each area, that will be three more into each area. And in doing so, that will tip them over the next level. So we'll need four more comfort and four aesthetic designs in the area. So the aesthetic designs in this area are very easy. I kind of already had them scoped out before. There we go. That's the aesthetic. For the comfort design. I think that'll count. 
It's not pretty, sure. Full stop. I'm just going to set up actually a, a larger area back here, I think. One, two, three, four. So we've got a little garden bed and I'm going to put some piping on either side of it. There you go. So as soon as all of those buildings are constructed, we will have two neighborhoods giving extra global resolve to everyone. Goods for the Citadel has already been completed, getting us five new people and 40 pie. Hell yeah. So now we have six people not currently working on anything, but they'll just help us construct all of this faster. Excellent, excellent. There we go. Small Hearth is already a neighborhood up here. So that is plus 10% of the global uh, production speed. That's not actually, not actually extra resolve. It's 10% of the global production speed. I'm happy with that as well, to be clear. Obviously not going to turn that down. Let's have a quick look at the trade routes in case there's something that I could have fulfilled that I overlooked. Doesn't look like it at the moment. Resolve for folks is very high off of leisure. That's what's doing it, really. Eight from the leisure. 13 from the leisure. Oh no, it's all of you are affected and you are getting eight each. Cool. Hmm. Though we will run out of uh... Yeah, we're running out of crops for making that at the moment. We do get roots from the herb garden. Which does remind me, I need to move the woodcutter's camp so that I can unveil more of those roots. Uh, we might as well do the same with this one. Second expensive delivery is up as well, giving us the plus three to global resolve for 15, uh, sorry, 15, 1.5 minutes after we uh, discover a glade and plus two to the grain production and some ale as well. Thank heck for all of this income of ale, eh? A cookhouse, a bakori, and a rain mill. Well, I don't really have the ability to actually use my flour just yet, so it seems bakery is exactly what the doctor called for. So start continuing to fill this path out. Uh, the monastery, I mean, has a bunch of ale in it. I, I need to decide what to do with it now. Am I going to bring it back for the green brew? Negative 100 hostility. I honestly don't think I need it. People do like religion, though. If I could make incense, the lizards and the humans would love religion. Okay, fine, I'll let them have it. Okay, let's turn the pottery creation off. Waiting for some flour so that it can start making some pies and biscuits. We have a bunch of herbs for the pies and biscuits. Very happy about that. That's our production going very effectively there. This guy's right all in the monastery. Yeah, of course, because I figured out what I wanted to do with it. Uh, I mean, honestly, I want it to, I want it to be fixed. Let's just send one person there to start fixing it so that they can cart over resources very slowly and then as soon as all the resources are there, I'll have backup turn up. Won't be but a problem at all. Or I'll just 
Okay, I'm still working on the vegetables up there. Then I'll move it down here to work on these. This gets right old in the monastery, eh? Trade route is complete, though. We get 16 for our troubles. I could sell some fabric to just continue increasing my... Yeah, I'm just going to continue increasing my relationship with Fatal by selling them some fabric. Our brickyard does not have the ability to make any more bricks, so it will allow them to make out of clay rather than just out of the stone. Is this telling me that I've run out of stone from the Stonecutters camp? No. No. Getting closer, though. How's our mine doing? Still a hell of a lot of coal in there. Good to see it. We're stacking coal relatively easily. If I turn off fuel consumption for everything except for coal... Looks like it won't be too much of a problem for us. Uh, this is resolve is low, but we do get another... Priority point here. A carpenter for making simple tools or packs of luxury good. Yeah, absolutely. And in fact, I can even immediately build it. I like that I can just immediately place all of these higher tier buildings when I unlock them. Makes it a whole lot easier to take them in the first place. So I do have enough people here now starting to create the monastery. Another trade route is complete, giving us only two, but it does give us some progress. Ooh, smoldering city. You'll take 10 trade goods and 15 provisions for 15. Absolutely. You'll also take two of my ancient tablets off my hand with 14 provisions for 40. Yes. I mean, I would sell with three provisions and nine building materials right now uh, to Fatal, but I only have two active trade routes at a time. Trying to think of any better positions I can make for things. Up in this area. I think that's about it for now. Let's also start placing down the additional farm fields up here. Yeah, this can't reach unless it's up in the back corner. Like, it would have to be sitting right here to reach every single part of the plot. If I covered two, I could recess it a little... And access these three. So I guess I don't need to construct those just yet. They're out of the accessible area. Same over here. I would have to put it in this corner in order to get everything. Alas. I really want those corners to be the nearest corners to you rather than the furthest. Um, don't you welcome... Yeah, I feel like it might be time to actually break into this uh, big forbidden glade up here. You know what? Yeah. Let's just do it. We'll choose another cornerstone first. Gain 20 amber for every 100 ale produced. Or more grain per minute. I'm taking the grain delivery line because we're not going to make much amber. Uh, we're not going to make much ale if we don't have the grain in the first place. Looks like burning coal is being completely fine for us. Good to hear, good to hear. Ooh, 
Ooh, we've got a bunch of water skins to make the packs of trade goods now. And in fact, water skins to make beer with. Although I'll start off with the barrels. Okay, Jorg. Welcome. Planting crops is faster. Harvesting crops is faster. Insects let you... Insect traps rather catch you any insects feeding on mushrooms. You get one insect for every two mushrooms produced. Don't need those. Okay, we'll take the other two perks though. And then all of your pickled goods, please. Oh, uh, all of your skewers as well. Thank you. You don't have any jerky? I'll take all of your meat though. Fair trade. And in taking all of that, I should start getting a bunch more resolve across the entire group, but where are the skewers that I can create? Uh, sorry, the skewers, the jerky that I can create. Because I know that I can create some. No, wait, don't tell me. I can't create jerky? I, I could have sworn for the life of me that I knew how to create jerky. Wow. Yeah, that's gonna make this a wee, uh, wee bit more of a toughie than I wanted this to be. Ah, uh, but that's A-OK. -okay. We'll make it through. Do need more bricks. Do kind of need more crystallized you as well. Yeah. Stuff up the brickyard a bunch. Oh, right, I still have you avoided or marked to avoid opening glades. Hence the non-open glade here. Welcome! A fishman outpost. Fishmen usually aren't a threat, but they can be a real nuisance after a while. Villagers have a 25% chance of dying after eating. And cooked and raw food in the warehouse is disappearing at a rate of every 10 seconds, only active while the glade is being worked on. I mean, I think we should probably work on it immediately. There's some stamping mills here for making pottery, flour, and copper bars. And a smithy here for making simple tools, packs of trade goods, and coats. I think I actually have a, a smithy, didn't I? I thought I got something for making packs of trade goods. Maybe I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the luxury goods from the carpenter I'm thinking of. Unfortunately, this area does not represent a... Um, maybe I take the reputation and the grace. We only need three more reputation. I should take the reputation and grace now. And then do any of these possibly give reputation grace? No. Yeah, I'm happy with that decision. Office camp has nothing nearby. Well, I think you'll find it definitely does. Just needs to be slightly relocated to actually take advantage of it. Forager's camp for the same. And again, same, same treatment to you. I'm going to take down the second woodcutter's camp here. We can move this forager's camp across to it. A. Hey. And this final wood, this final wood, this final stone over in this area has to be near done, right? Has to be. sitting exactly there. It's going to be sitting one space down. It's going to be sitting one space down. I might be able to actually put down the hearth already. Or 
Almost. What's stopping me, actually? Because it's not locational. It's... Oh, wait. Yeah, because it's trying to overlap with the end, I can't actually build it. Is Yeah, it won't let me build it in any area over here. Okay, so this this was always the Doom mission from the start, so this Stone Coast camp has always been kind of a poor idea. Whoops. I guess I just needed to start growing out in a different direction quickly. Fair enough. It's going to be difficult to set up a third city, unfortunately. The third settlement. Let's rebuild this smithy because I do see some potential in that. So the trade route is complete for another 15 for us. Everyone wants the resources that are the hardest for us to give to them at the moment, unfortunately. The only thing they want is whatever is the hardest for us to provide. Let's also unmark these trees so I don't have to watch them just glow the entire time. Only got five folk not doing anything at the moment. Um, yeah, if I'm not going to make another place, I really should just put down some new housing. So there's one. There's two. Uh, yeah, each of those contains six. So that'll be enough. Don't cut his camp. Finally has no deposits nearby. Great. Good to see it. Uh, in fact, it has no deposits nearby on the entire map. So we can just take that one away. Houses! Houses for all! Discovering a new glade is also giving us, yeah, the plus three to global resolve for some minutes after having done so. People are enjoying their pickled goods and their skewers. Um, so bricks are so hard for us to build because we don't really have renewable sources of stone, what am I gonna do? Hmm. Am I getting stone from the mine occasionally at least? Nope, just call. One thing I haven't done in a while is actually look at my management screen to see who is working in suboptimal jobs and trade them around a little bit. Camp. Everyone's doing well up here. Same there, same there, same there. Okay, cool. Let's get three folk lowering the hostility across the board. Yeah, this is this has raised our resolve to degrees that we are going to start, I believe, just earning this final reputation over time. Smoldering City has also gotten to reputation too. I'll sell you as many insects as you can get your hands on, bud. You know, I'm also actually going to sacrifice some wood in order to reduce hostility levels to keep everyone hip hip happy. Keep the reputation rolling in, because I believe this is actually just going to win in just a couple moments. 34? Come on, we're so close! Come on! 
Come on! Just across. It doesn't matter if I make any more plans at this point. Come on! We're so close. And that's all they wrote. So this is what I was trying to do last time. And we unlocked for it, did we ever? Level 5 has been unlocked, we've got new Citadel upgrades, we've also got the Harpy. A fundamental upgrade, Harpies are a noble and fragile species, yet they have a primal aggressive side, they excel at alchemy and love to work with cloth. So this is another race. And we have the Smelter, which we previously just saw, obviously. Uh, for Copper Bars, Crystallized Dew and Biscuits, there's also a Bathhouse. Uh, fulfills cleanliness and has the passive effects of regular baths and good health. We also have a Cooperage for making barrels better making training go reasonably, and for making cosmetics okay, and tanning racks a cornerstone for leather production, and generous gifts a cornerstone for newcomers bringing more goods when you have higher level hubs. We also completed six deeds, one in Fertile Meadows, win a game near the Fertile Grounds modifier, uh, Rolling in Wealth, Trade Good worth 200 Amber. We also got Rolling in Wealth 3, Trade Goods worth 600 Amber. Coral Forests, win a game with the Coral Forest biome. Ten trade routes have been completed for Export Expert. And No Strangers, win a game without completing any camp events. <laughs> I wanted them, I just didn't find them. Back to the world event. There we go. We see my failure has taken some extra time. Obviously we were about here before we came in there. Uh, our failure has taken some extra time for this Blightstorm, but... Other than that, our failures so far have been reasonably erased. There's a haunted modifier up there, haunted forest in order to get some more resources, but let's look into the smoldering city and get the rewards from the deeds that we've completed. It looks like it's just experience from each of them. Probably not gonna be enough to level this up if I had to guess, but maybe, who knows, let's see. Oh, is it exactly enough? It's exactly enough. We hit level six giving us new Citadel upgrades as well as the Artisan, producing coats, pigment, and barrels at two star each. Press for oil and flour and luxury goods. Uh, monastery for people practicing religion and leisure. Sothior the Ancient, who is a trader and will have luxury items, crafting materials, blueprints for alchemical buildings and perks for sale. He's willing to buy packs of goods, fuel, cooked goods, and luxury goods. Uh, exploration Expedition, giving us a constant negative 5 to global resolve, but plus 15 to global resolve for 5 minutes after we've discovered a new glade. And Frequent Caravans, another cornerstone. A constant flow of goods keeps your villagers distracted. Boosts global resolve for 3 by 60 seconds each time you finish a trade route. And the bonus stacks. As for our ability to purchase things ourselves. All traders have uh, one cornerstone or blueprint for sale through extra merchandise. That is huge. Uh, I could also get, and you gain one cornerstone reroll per settlement, plus five to the storage capacity of all buildings permanently. Hmm. We could enable consumption controls, which is important. It's very, very handy. But I do wonder if I get more power out of upgrading something else first here. Yeah. Let's give all traders the blueprints for sale. I think that's a very, very easy way for me to utilize a, a kind of trade majority in order to really, really do some work very quickly on these fields. Essential, okay. So this, this one, the machinery gives essential upgrades. Not necessarily essential upgrades, but big upgrades, fundamental upgrades. You can upgrade hubs to the district level. So here for three machinery, we would be able to add a blueprint to the essential buildings, human house. So I would never need to get the blueprint for the human house again. I would just already have access to it. I'm going to take the cornerstone reroll per... No, I can't unlock that just yet because I would have to go from the base up. Uh, you have one additional option to choose from when picking cornerstones at the beginning of each year. Honestly, 
yeah. Cornerstones are very, very powerful. If I could be a little more specific about how I actually approach them, I think I would be able to turn that into mountains and mountains of money. But that kind of thing would be happening at the start of the next episode, I have to imagine. Until then, my name is Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Against the Storm. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There is a playlist in the top left of the screen at the moment. Serious playlist uh, specifically. YouTube recommendation down below. Stream pass are the names of the people so generously supporting the Republic on Patreon.com slash Rhapsody Plays. Add or above the thanks to you. A special thanks this episode to Ballard. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you all next time.